What's up, cuties? Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Tamar Braxton speaks, and she is absolutely devastated at the events that happened this past weekend at her show in LA. So you guys know that there has been rumors, nothing was really confirmed until James Wright Chanel spoke out and he brushed right past the incident, but there's been rumors that Krishan assaulted James. Well, listen to Tamar Braxton in her own words. She confirms everything and leaves nothing to doubt. And she is, as I mentioned, absolutely devastated. Take a listen, guys. I'll be back at the end with a little more commentary. Hey everybody, I look crazy. Let me take this off. <laughs> Not that my headband looks any better, but um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and then it was by Krishan, but... Um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans um i'm not a clout chaser i don't i don't need that like my circle is this small you know i um don't have to sell tickets for you know like oh i need to sell tickets let me do this that other this show has been sold out for a month um i didn't have an opening act i knew i didn't need an opening act because i knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show um and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing. Because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. Um, and like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We wanna help, we wanna help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know, um, I don't. I didn't know any of them really. The only person that I knew was Nivea, you know. Um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and you know, giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Uh, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion right and i was like oh it'd be cool if you if the dj played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know your baltimore sisters and that's really what i was thinking um everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me i try to always do this do the right thing um by people um and there's a contract um, we're professional i'm a real touring company um and that wasn't the case um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, 
<clears throat> and everybody that's come to a Tay Martian show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry. People have passed out, you know, due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a safe, loving, healing place. And um, I don't know. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized. And especially James. He was assaulted and he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height, for height, no, no one, I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame, they feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Um, but, um, I, I'm doing this video for, for my staff and for my team who believed in me and who has helped supported me, Tori especially, you know, who has been the most passionate about this. And he should have, you know, um, he's my partner and, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. And, um, I, I really honestly truly wish none of this happened um, we are still doing part two um, like I said before we don't fight at our concerts we don't we don't even everybody who has gone has had a lovely fun family setting and time and um, I don't know I it, it's just unfortunate and let me just tell you how amazing James is like No matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like. I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And um, I don't know. I just felt like on behalf of my team, being the leader, sometimes you don't know you know what role to take and i just want everybody to know i just want everybody to know that i'm sorry and um i don't know um, but i won't be speaking about this anymore it's this has really hit us hard you know and um it really hit us all hard no one deserved it, you know, and no one wanted to hurt anybody and no one wanted to disrespect anybody and nobody wanted to set anybody up. We just wanted to have a good time. Um, so um, I love you guys and I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm sorry, James. You're an amazing person. This should have never happened. Um, And I'm also sorry, Krishan, that you feel like in, in your life that everybody is out to get you. That must be a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. Um, 
I don't know. Um, I, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Now, before I get into my commentary about this, cuties, I want to read you guys a couple tweets. Tamar did tweet on Twitter. And unfortunately for Tamar, she is receiving backlash. And I don't think that that's going to end too soon. Krishan Rock has a very large following, and since she's deactivated her social media accounts, they're going to come for Tamar. So let me read a couple tweets, and then after that, I'll give my commentary on this whole hot mess. So here Tamar says, I'm tired, y'all. I don't know about this part two tour. We are all hurting, and if I don't say anything, I'm wrong. I said something and I'm lying. I'm tired. Meanwhile, James is at the dentist getting new teeth. Y'all leave me alone. I was only trying to show Krishan Rock love. I still think she needs hugs and real people. So this person says, so you waited until Krishan deleted her social media to speak out? Seems like it's a lot of BS. Why was she there? Answer the question we all want to know. Was she there to perform or not? Because why would she be there? Y'all don't vibe. Y'all don't hang. It's just weird. This next person said, CR needs Jesus. Pray for her and let go and let God. Everybody can't go, Tamar. I love the music and the entertainment career, but you are one of the most frustrating people on the planet to support. Leave the hood at home. Leave the BS at home. Your anointing is for you. Next person said, all you had to do is communicate with your team properly. You invited her and your team treated her like bomb that crashed the stage. She felt awkward, nervous, and played in public. This person said, what I don't understand is why you apologize to her, especially knowing she assaulted your friend. I really, really don't get that. And I would be extremely hurt if I was Jane. Apologizing to the assailant. Just a couple more tweets, guys. This person put, no ma'am, Tam. She's been given too much love and too many second chances. She has never been held accountable for her actions. What she needs is jail time. All the love is just enabling her at this point. She is an adult and a mother, and she needs to start acting like it. Next person put, if you feel like you need time, cancel part two. But don't let these internet trolls make you make that decision. Bump them. And these are the last two tweets, but uh, this person put, I just think we have to know what's appropriate for the company we choose to keep. Pre-gaming with shots, having a twerk session for live, then inviting her on stage, but not really. Ended up with the reactive rock the world knows her to be. It's sad for real because she shouldn't have been there. And this last tweet was in support of Tamar. Uh, the person put, I believe you, Tamar, 100%. I'm glad that you spoke up, not because you had to, but because you wanted to, to the people who work with you are your close friends, and they deserve to hear from you. You are showing us the change in you for the good. Keep up the good work, Tamar Braxton. So look, my commentary is this. First of all, James Wright Chanel, you better sue and you better press charges if you haven't already. Because Krishan needs to learn a lesson, especially with this. She should have learned a long time ago, but she gets paid for the behavior that she did at Tamar's concert. Now, when it comes to Tamar, I'm glad that I waited uh, instead of coming out here like I wanted to initially um, because I did think it was a little cloudy, clout chasey, let me say it that way. You know, if you want to help this girl, do that as a mentor, as a big sister. But exactly what the person said in the tweets, you don't invite this girl out and have drinks and all of that because we've seen what that does to her. So I still think that 
it may have been not for clout because look, Tamar is from the Braxton family. So she definitely doesn't need the clout. But with Krishan comes a whole lot of followers on every platform. So I'm not saying that that's the case. Uh, I'm going to trust Tamar's word. She just wanted to help this girl. And you see how that shit turned out. Help her ass go right to jail so she can sit down somewhere. Life is not bad girls club or baddies and everything else. So you can't just go around and popping people in their damn mouth with them brass knuckles that she has on, um, making it look like they're rings. No, that's a weapon. That is a weapon. And just because you're not feeling what someone says to you or how they may have treated you, you cannot do what she's done. And like I said, she's gotten away with it several times. So this needs to be a lesson learned for not only Krishan, but Tamar Braxton as well. Uh, you got to help people from a distance, if at all. Because first of all, they need to be open to receiving help. And I just don't think that in that way, um, inviting her to the show, I don't think that she thought that that's what this was. I actually saw Tamar. I was looking at Krishan's live and Tamar was all up and through her live video earlier Friday. Call me, Krishan. Make sure to call me, Krishan. And I thought it was a little odd, but damn, it probably wasn't as odd as me looking at the girl's live. She's a train wreck. She needs to be set down. She shouldn't even be out partying and drinking and doing all the things that she's doing. The girl gave uh, birth on live so the baby is two months old and her ass need to be at home so if she can't sit down at home then maybe she need to sit down in jail so i'm sure this is a tough predicament for tamar to be in but i'm glad that she did speak out she had unfollowed people it looked like that was on her own team and people had started whispering about that so I'm glad that she spoke out about it. But yeah, let this be a lesson learned. Let this be a lesson learned. But you guys, drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat about it. Let me know your thoughts. I will be having a power hour live tomorrow where we can discuss this. There is a couple other hot topics that's going around. I looked up in the sky today, chow, and I saw a bird. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So join me for Power Hour tomorrow afternoon. Maybe tomorrow night. We'll see how my workday goes. But let me know your thoughts about this. Tamar Braxton versus Krishan. Krishan versus every damn body. Like I said, lock her ass up. Prayers go out to James Wright Chanel. The man has to go ahead and get a whole new set of teeth. What a damn shame. But drop down, guys. Thank you for joining me for this video. And before you go, please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon.